Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, we know that the SNP are very soft on crime, despite what they say, and how they give people who, you know, grown men who are children, will, rather than go to prison, get to pick up litter or something. That seems to be the sentencing guidelines. They seem to have this thing that people aren't fully developed until they're like 25. Although, strangely, say that they have developed sufficiently well enough that they know if they're male or female at eight. It's a strange thing. They do want to create a whole load of child eunuchs for some reason. But in terms of punishment, there isn't seeing the... Uh, we're not seeing the, fun, the punishment fitting the crime, as Gilbert and Sullivan would put it. And so as part of their conference, Scottish Tories are calling for a thing called a victim's veto. And that is to say, when there are, um, let's say, unduly lenient sentences, in order to break this uh, this cycle, that the that the uh, the the victims themselves have some say over what the punishments are, which I think is a, an excellent idea. Personally, um, I, I'm all for harsher sentencing, harsher punishments. If you can keep these people off the streets, that's less time for them to be on the streets committing crimes. But we'll take a look at this quickly, and we'll see what it basically amounts to. Here you go. So Scottish Tories call for a victim's veto to block soft touch sentencing guidelines. Shadow Justice Secretary Russell Findlay wants to reform the Scottish Sentencing Council after it was embroiled in a row over an ARA avoiding prison due to being under 25. And this ARA in particular was someone who are a child by definition in law. And of course we reported the other day Angela Constance is looking to do another sentencing review. Uh, not because she feels that it's important to uh, to do these things, but simply because the Scottish prisons are so full. She wants a review to come up with a way of sending fewer people to prison because it's cheaper to let them off than it is to build another prison. And that's where they're going. And of course, at the same time, the police forces aren't investigating crimes. So it is becoming a criminal's charter. It's becoming a criminocracy in Scotland. Who's the biggest crook? You get to run the nation. Demands have been made for major reforms to sentencing guidelines in Scotland, with a bigger focus on the victims of crimes. This includes the introduction of a victim's veto, meaning that those who suffer at the hands of criminals can block new soft-touch justice guidelines. There shouldn't be soft-touch justice. There should be increasingly harsher justice. It stops people committing the crimes. The Scottish Tories will debate this policy at their conference this weekend, where Shadow Justice Secretary Russell Findlay will advocate for changes to the Scottish Sentencing Council. This will include holding SNP ministers to account for any controversies involving the guidance. Yeah, I mean, if something goes wrong, you hold the ministers go to jail, you know, and, and have it that way. Um, and if they're, if they're unduly leniently released and then they commit another crime of a similar nature... Who's responsible? Who brought that? Who brought that gut? Just that gu that guideline in. Who was the justice minister at the time? Bang! They go to jail with the criminal. Tell you what, things will change damn quick if that was the case. A row began over the SSC's guidance last year when an alleged ARA of children avoided a prison sentence because he was under 25. The charges against Sean Hogg were later dropped following an appeal, but there have been further examples of criminals dodging jail due to their age. Hit and run driver Brian Buchanan was handed a community sentence despite killing a teenager by speeding and having previous convictions for careless driving and speeding. Other cases include a 16 year old who battered a firefighter and left him disfigured for life and a bank worker who embezzled thousands from elderly customers and who weren't jailed. None of these people were jailed. It's basically Scotland is now the place if you want to commit a crime, go there, you're going to walk away. The guidelines were introduced by the SSC in 2022 and recommended that custodial sentences should only be handed out to young people as a last resort. This, they say, is due to the brain maturity and the greater capacity to change compared to those over 25. There are three key reforms to the Scottish Tories want to introduce, making sure that victims represent half of the SSC's membership. Currently, only one person out of the 12 members is a victim's expert. Now, he killed someone, didn't go to jail. If I was the family of the person he killed, he'd want to be in jail. Believe you me, he'd be begging for jail. 
Uh, another change is making the body accountable to Parliament. As are the current, current legislation, it must consult with Scottish, minist Scottish ministers about draft guidelines. But this would be tweaked so the Scottish Parliament were asked about it instead, not ministers. And the major difference would be the introduction of victims' veto on all new sentencing guidelines. The victims' veto will make sentences harsher and harder, and that can only be uh, a good thing. It means if the current victims member of was cut, if the current victims member of council disagrees with the guidance, it cannot proceed. To which the party claim would empower those who have suffered from crime. Mr. Findlay told the Daily Express. Crime victims across Scotland often say they feel ignored and sidelined by the criminal justice system. Our proposed reforms instead intend to put that right. And it's got to be. You've got... The, the victims of crime must see that the perpetrators of crime are punished and punished harshly. And this has three effects. One, it brings closure to the victim. Two, it ensures a proper punishment for those who do commit the crime. And thirdly, and more importantly, it acts as a warning to the others. Uh, and then when they see what will happen if they do that, then maybe some of them will think twice before doing it. He says, we believe it is reasonable for at least half of the Scottish sentencing council membership to be made up of those who have direct experience of crime. It is essential that their views are finally heard and that the SSC is made accountable to the Scottish Parliament. These are, actually, these are sensible. These are sensible guidelines. I, I, I can agree with that and take this on board entirely. Uh, it said, since being created by SNP ministers, it has imposed under 25 sentencing guidelines which treat adult criminals like children, causing devastation, anger and additional trauma to victims. Introducing a victim's veto on all new guidelines is likely to prevent such soft touch policies in future. And the under 25 sentencing guidelines were introduced even though the organisation owned research showed that 71% of people disagreed with them. But they don't care about what people want because they are set in their ways. They want complete control and people no longer matter. Not to the SNP. It's all about power. I'm coming up. It's all control and it's all increasing crime. If you can reduce the number of policemen and increase the number of crimes, the police you have are so busy dealing with these crimes that the police won't have time to look at what the SNP are actually doing. That's my personal belief on this. They are getting away with awful things because the police are not able to investigate them. I think there actually needs to be a separate police force across the whole of Britain, um, outside of control uh, of any particular force. And its job is to investigate parliament, politicians, MPs, councillors, the lot, a political police force. Not political police as in, you know, secret police, but a police force dedicated to looking at politicians at all times, keeping them, you know, to the nose to the grindstone and keeping them this side of the law. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I will speak to you later. Bye.